Hey, what's going on guys? Choco here and welcome back to another episode of ARK Survival Evolved here on the YouTuber server. I am now just finished and I and I kind of have a weird sleep schedule right now. So if I appear a little bit loopy, it's just because I, I woke up even though it's like I'm recording this at night. Very, very strange. Don't ask questions. Um, but yeah, I went ahead, did kind of the pre-episode grind actually by myself, by my lonesome. And Giga got himself some meat and whatever else. I don't know why I'm talking with a very strange accent. But, uh, yeah, we got himself some meat and some extra hides and whatever else. But the main thing here is that we do have all the food. I distributed all the food amongst the peoples. I will, however, upgrade Tiny's levels. 36.1% melee damage. Crawling up there ever so slightly. The pack just kind of hanging out here. Even though, the, you know, pack lol. I shouldn't say <laughs> The crew. The squad. The fam? Who knows? Alright, so anyways, while Karn is still all sitting there... By the way... Okay, yeah, he... I, I was wondering if he was being fed by anything, because I wasn't actually sure. Anyways, good old, so... Today, we have to start off with one very basic and obvious thing. I need, above almost anything else, to make myself forget what the heck is going on. And we have a $5 donation straight off the bat. Steradix donated five dollars and said, "Uh, yeah, babe, too." Uh, when all you guys finish with the server, you should do a red versus blue style team PvP world next. Uh, well, I I, I think you would want to ask Lachlan. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But we did. I did. I did screw up a little bit, fam. So we actually never put away the other mind wipe tonic, so we kind of lost it. Um, but we did. We made three, so we're okay. It just kind of is a waste of resources and junk like that, but it's okay. Um, we do have a backup here, so we should be all right. So we're gonna start off with this. Crafting speed was great for the cooking recipes, but didn't really make a whole lot of sense for anything else. And yeah, it was nice to have the extra bit of like crafting speed and like making arrows, for example, was hysterically grand. But outside of that, it was really limited in functionality, like really, really limited. Um, and honestly speaking, for me, I'm, I'm fairly patient when it comes to these kinds of things, so I'm not too worried about kind of getting those things together. I'm, I'm really not too concerned about those. So, um, like in terms of just, oh, you know, Choco's going to have to wait a little bit in order to get that stuff done. So I, I just, I don't really particularly mind that. Um, what I am going to do this time with this Mind Wipe Tonic is, well, before we do the Mind Wipe Tonic, now that I say that, um, let me go ahead and grab some flint. And apparently Miola is saying, um, asking if I want, if I'm doing an episode, and he's just kind of doing some stuff, and I told him I was going to, I was going to, do 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 I mean, we can do stuff together if you like. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't understand what he is trying to communicate. Bum 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 bum. And then we need to make some arrows because I love the sound of it. Watch. It is pretty. I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty. It is pretty uh, satisfying to <laughs> to see that happen. I I got I gotta say that is that is pretty satisfying. That is absolutely satisfying. Oh whoa! What the heck happened there? Okay, the bird fam just like flipped their doodle and annihilated some critter. I don't know what they did though. Oh what? A raptor? Wow, we haven't seen one of you guys out this way for a while. Okay, I'm 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 kind of starting to think that something might have changed on the server, because uh, while we were advent like while I was doing my pre episode grind, it did seem like hostility seemed to be a little bit more tense than normal. I don't really know what's going on. I, I'm not really sure what that, what the heck happened here. We'll see. We'll see what is going down, 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 and hopefully we'll get this all sorted out. And. Let's go up here, drop off those eggerinos. I just want to do one more thing of 
<laughs> arrows, because I chances are I'm not gonna be mind wiping again anytime particularly soon. Although, although, I will say this, while we have this all kind of rocking and rolling here, I might as well make some of the basic uh, things here. So Well we already I think we already found a packy saddle actually. Let me see. Let's see what we can get done here. We we already have a Scorpy saddle thing. I'm pretty sure we have a Dire Bear saddle, Sarka saddle, obviously, Pterodon saddle. We also found a Anagram for. We actually found a Mammoth as well. Aranio is the spiders, and we'll see. Huh. Oh, and people are apparently saying that the difficulty has. Risen! Wait. What's the difficulty now? We are concerned, I think. So people are telling me that we are now at 0.7 difficulty. I wonder what that means. I wonder what 0.7 difficulty means in terms of the max level for dinos. Interesting. Okay, yeah. So we so anyways, today what we're going to aim to do is we're going to try to get for dimetrodons, we're going to go for all the land-based critters and hopefully get them all sorted like I said. Um what do you require? Why can't I learn you? Requires engram smithy, okay. I think I do want to make a Casteroides saddle. Everything else is kind of eh. Um, yeah, and I'll even like, because aquatic stuff we can worry about later time. I'm really not that concerned. Like, making the mind wipe tonics honestly wasn't that bad, so I, I really am not too worried about it. Uh, Although I do want to make a Castoroides saddle while I have this all kind of out in the boot. And to make it, I am... Wow! Well then, okay. Well, we can get the thatch and we can get the metal ingots. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest here. That's, that's a fair bit of cementing paste I don't really have right now. Alright, so here is what we're going to do. I'm going to take Phoenix over. I say let's... Ooh, there is a floating egg. That is new. Okay, well... That is, uh... That is certainly interesting. Alright, let me see here. Craft egg. These arrows. Good stuff. And I'm going to drop off these arrows into the war gear. It's literally weighing me down because, again, we only have like a hundred weight capacity right now. It's... Pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Alright, so arrows away. Oh, I can't even store any more arrows. That's actually all we can do. By way of arrow storage. LOL. Okay, um. Hmm. Well, okay. Shoot, man. Guess we'll just move these eggs one at a time. We'll just do one at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Let's get this egg into here. One Rx egg. Let's get the floating super egg that's just kind of floating about. I wonder how it got up there. Oh, there's another egg. Man, you guys are going nuts with these eggs. Although, with these Rex eggs, I do believe that Rex eggs are the preferred egg of uh, Quetzals. So, if, if the difficulty has risen, we might actually want to do another Quetzal thing relatively soon. Despite having done one, you know, rel relatively recently, we might actually... Aim to do another, another one, because if 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 these are if this is true, and the difficulty level has risen, then we might be able to find ourselves a really good Quetzal. That might be what that I don't know. I'm wondering if we might actually end up getting to level 100 critters running around. I have no idea. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go ahead store that all away. And then we have our handy dandy pistol in case anything comes at me. And I think we're all in good shape. So let's go ahead, ride on over. 
Phoenix is not not doing the greatest, not doing the worst, but not doing the greatest, I would say. And then we can go ahead and just go over to that area right by the... I keep on referring it to it as like the Season 1, but I shouldn't call it that anymore. Um, but I'm going to go back to the Season 1 phase. <laughs> right, like right at the base of there, yeah, like right there. Right there, that's where we gotta go. But he is going to get us there, and hopefully I'm not going to die. Gamma 3. And fly on over. Hmm. I'm actually really, really quite keen on looking into if I can find a really high level. If I were to find another high level Pterodon, or another, because we, because we totally found one. Um, we, if we can find a Pterodon, then I, that actually could be pretty lit, fam. That could be quite lit. Because if we can find another Pterodon. I cannot say another. If we can find a good level pterodon, that would actually be really, really handy. Are those dialos? Yeah, those are dialos. Dialos are. I don't know. I think dialos have changed since. <laughs> you, you've changed, man. But I think dialos have actually changed from when we first started Arc. Because they used to be like. They wouldn't really pack up like that so much, it didn't seem like. But maybe it's just because I just never noticed. I'm a little bit on the oblivious side of things, so it's, it's very possible that that's more of the case. Alright, let's see. Beavers! Have you made me new houses? I see two construction things right over there. Oh! And I see an alpha! I do see an alpha! What are you? You're an alpha raptor. You're only a level 11. I mean, it's not... Ooh, hey there. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, and then let me flop on over. Whoop, another Mega Piranha. Level 88! Okay, can confirm. That is the highest level of anything we've seen on Natural. Um, besides the rumor of the... Well, not rumor anymore, I guess it's confirmed. But besides the reports of Petey having been killed by a level 200-something by a snow bat, that is the highest level we have ever seen. That's absurd. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I also have like zero weight with which to carry stuff with, but you know, that'll be fine. I am also not seeing any of the beavers. Alright, standing on top of beaver's house. Hopefully they don't care. And we'll just jettison some stuff here. I guess we might as well swap this out in case of dire emergencies. And then, wow, that's not that much. Okay, so, oh god! Is that a beaver? What the? Oh, it is a beaver. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're okay. We can take beavers on. I can take you on. And I'm pretty sure I just shot the dead body of a. Just shot the dead body of a piranha. All right, Casteroides. Barbara has served me well, but that does not excuse your behavior. All right, let's see. What do you give me? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're a level 35 Castoroides. You could potentially be a mate for our lovely Barbara, but... Okay, I'm just gonna smack you to death. Here. We just gotta go savage all over these guys. All right. Okay, they do drop pelts. I had a suspicion. I wasn't 100% sure because I didn't want to say something, but... Huh. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, and Miola just confirmed for me. Wow, that was a really epic way to die. And apparently it is unharvestable. Okay, well, that is a really suggestive way to die, friend. But, you know, whatever. Far be it for me to complain about that. Okay, let's go ahead and drop off this little bit and pieces of meat there. And let's go fly over back to base. I don't think, I mean, we could probably get to it relatively easy. We have chitin and all that stuff, but crafting speed doesn't impact chitin. And I feel like we don't really, like, we, even if we could create saddles, I just don't think it's a good use of our time right now. Just because of the fact that, like, we don't use 80%, well, not even 80, like 95% of our dinos that we have. We only use the Rexes, really, for saddles, as well as, you know, flying critters, Argentavis and stuff like that, and then maybe a Pterodon later on, but we'll see. We'll see how that all goes down. We'll see how that all goes down, indeed. But let's go ahead and fly back. 
And then we are going to drop off our stuff. Actually, do I even have stuff to drop off? No, not really. I guess we'll just drop off the belts. And then we'll mind wipe ourselves and we'll get ourselves to a better place. Again, I did like, I think it was 26 fortitude I said. I did, I did feel like 26 fortitude was a fair bit of fortitude. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're not going to invest anything in movement speed. Although movement speed was fine. It wasn't like the worst thing in the world. And I gave it some more thought. I'm like, yeah, it, it probably did increase quality of life a little bit. But it is definitely way more, it is definitely way more practical for me to do uh, weight and uh, what you call it, weight, health, stamina, those kinds of things, and then obviously a little bit of fortitude. So let's go ahead and mind wipe. Boom! Just like that, everything's forgotten. And I know we didn't create any saddles of that, but that's okay. We can always make more of these guys, so don't worry, don't stress. And then let's get ourselves leveled up proper this time. All right, so. First thing first, I am going to go ahead and get ourselves to 26 Fortitude. Let me actually just really quickly confirm that 26 is a good number. So Fortitude is, of course, going to help us with um, making sure that we don't get RKO'd by Torpor things. And the next level up would be 38, which would be 19 levels spent in Fortitude. It does look kind of appealing, but I don't know if it's really the most important thing in the world to do. I personally would rather have a little bit more health and a little bit more uh, other things. So let's get this up. 200 health, 200 stamina, I think will be fine. And then I say we increase our weight. Let's increase our weight a little bit higher this time. So we're going to increase our weight all the way up to 300. Yeah, 300 sounds pretty good. Because the thing is, I am going to try to stick with mostly ranged weapons from now on. And the amount of melee damage you get per level up is really marginal. I forget what the actual number here. Actually, I can just go find this out real quick. Um, arc wiki. And then melee. And then let's see. So every single time I level up melee, it goes up by... Question mark. It goes up by 5%. So yeah, in order to get, if, if I swung 20 more times per level, it's like it's like squeezing in a 20th of a punch every single time. It's I don't know if that's really worth it. I personally don't see it as a grand thing, but we'll see. All right, so let us go and get, yeah, I say, I say we put in, let's go, let's go up to 400 weight. 400 weight seems a little bit excessive, I'm sure, but the reason why I'm thinking 400 weight might be a good thing is because 400 weight will allow us to move around a little more freely, and the Quetzal can support that weight, so that's, that's kind of my thought. And then, since we're not doing melee damage, let's make ourselves a wee bit tankier, at the very least. Get that up to 250. I feel like 250 is a pretty good in-between. I, I think that's all right. And right now, I think we have seven-ish more points to play with. Let's up this to 300. Okay? And then I'm going to invest other, like, excess points into weight from then on. So there we go, all the way back up to level 76. Got that all sorted and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead. Let's load up our crossbow here. Oh, and another Scorpio just died. Yeah, um... This is interesting. So, Miola says that the difficulty was actually cranked up to 0.8. And 0.8 is interesting. That is a rather suddenly sharp increase in uh, how hard everything's going to hit us and stuff. But let's go ahead. Let's collect all these different fam jams all the way around here. We do have quite a few of the fam jams just kind of wandering around. And it does seem to be the case that yeah, things are getting a little bit more aggressive, to be honest. Things are... Like, we're getting some stuff up there. We're going to have to... In the next episode, I might actually take the time. I don't want to do it this episode, because I want to get all the land-based critters um, sorted out. But I think we might have to take the time where we actually have to just sit down and put down some crop plots around the base. That way we don't have, like, a whole bunch of things just invading our territory. 
Obviously, I don't think we would see kind of the effect of it until a while later, but it's getting to that point. It really is. It really is getting to that point now where I've seen three hostile creatures come down that side, and it that does not happen that often normally. If you compare it to... But if you compare it to historical information and data, it doesn't support that this is a typical and standard type of behavior. But for Rosies, though, it's actually kind of absurd how much... Just how much has been falling down from here, because we've killed ourselves like three different critters. And there's a raptor! Yeah, I know. This is way higher than it normally is. This is way higher than it normally is. What are you? What level are you? Yo, Pleb Lord, what level are you? i tell you what. You want to be a raptor? You want a raptor about? And apparently our plant species X has decided that it wants to become the world's greatest and is now shooting anything and everything in its sight. And the raptor is now fighting Packy, it looks like. Plant species... Yeah, no, the, the mob density is higher, I think. Let's see how Plant Species X does. We have plenty of seeds, so I can always replant. We actually might need to add some more crop plots here as well. We, we just have to, we have to spend a day where we just put down crop plots, and we just have to like position them in such a way that we are kind of encompassed and all good to go. What is going on? Oh, the raptors are fighting the compies. It is, I gotta admit though, Plant Species X does look really, really cool. I have to hand it to it. It does look pretty darn dope. Oh, there's a raptor being shot by Plant Species X. Nah, mate. Go fly over here. And just like that, look at that. Plant Species X is actually quite handy. And it's full HP. It is literally full HP. The crop plot isn't damaged. The plant seems to be fine. How do I put you to sleep? Wake up. Okay, so just the really creepy hand tentacle is all that changes there. Not gonna lie, that is pretty dope. That is pretty darn dope. Okie dokie. So, let's go ahead and let's go on to our original quest here. So, the stream, I do need a little bit of help from you guys. If you guys can tell me how to tame the Arania, the spider, as well as the bat, I just, need to, I just need to make sure that we have the things that we need. I think Arania is spoiled meat, and I think the bat is just meat, if I'm not mistaken. And then the Dimetrodon, I think, is just meat, but it's meat with a little, a little bit of a catch. In other words, it's Dimetrodon is supposed to be really, really a pain in the butt to keep knocked out, but thankfully we're bringing over... Phoenix here, and Phoenix is going to be able to make sure that we have all the torpor we need. Alright, it looks like people are saying that the bug repellent passive tame is how you get those things. And we can also go kill this alpha here. And apparently Miola has died? Bat is a passive tame. Really? Okay, hold on. Let's, okay, people are constantly, I want to give them a ring ding ding. People are telling me I should give them a ring ding ding. So, hopefully Miela will accept our call. If not, then I ask that everyone, oh, hey. Hello. Hey there. Uh, my stream hey. is like freaking out and they're saying that uh, you need me. Oh, oh, uh, not so good. I, I just came past your base there. Oh yeah, really? Are you nearby? Yeah, I'm, I'm right near. I'm like, I, I'm just right around there actually. Oh no, I'm I'm chilling out on your uh, on your porch. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. How you doing? Oh, I'm good, man. I'm I actually was about to go kill an alpha that I spotted uh, kind of over by that river. Oh yeah, is that a little raptor? Yeah, it was like a level 11 raptor or something like that. <laughs> that's the one that uh, nearly killed me just then. That's I'm assuming that's why chat was telling you to come save me because I kind of got a bit destroyed. <laughs> I kind of, yeah. Really? Got in a bit of trouble. Yeah, I um, I was chilling at the top of the cliff, like kind of aiming to shoot down at it, and then my Quetzal was set to follow, and he just decided to like sweep me off the cliff, and uh, knock me straight down at it. Huh? It got nasty. Why are you? Oh, and, and then and then I died, and then yeah. <laughs> Wait, 
Did you lose your stuff? No, nah, I got it. I got it back. But oh, all okay. my armor's like breaking. So uh, I was, oh, yeah. I was hoping. Yeah, go for it. Yeah? Feel free. Yeah, you yeah, cool with that? It. Awesome, dude. Thanks. Yeah, here. Do you need more metal? Um, it shouldn't be too expensive. I might need a little bit if you're cool with that. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I, I have 300 metal right here. I, I owe you. I owe you one for sure. Oh, it's fine. This is why I made this outpost base. So whenever you guys needed to come back and fight things, then you can always come back here. Ah, uh, so thoughtful. Oh, oh I've had, I've had... please don't kill. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad, man. I got it. Feels real man. bad. That was that was the name suggested by the viewers. <laughs> they agreed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It kind of makes sense. Uh, he yeah. kind of killed my Quetzal the other day. Yeah, I of, heard about that. I heard it was that a he, bit of foresight. <laughs> yeah, I heard that he got your Quetzal killed. Yeah. Mm, that's a bit unfortunate, but yeah, we're currently looking for another one. Um, but I haven't really been able to spot any today, unfortunately. Well, this Phoenix is a new tame. I recently tamed him, so if you were eyeing. <gasps> oh yeah, no, no, that I spotted that one the other day. Um, that was like the red and black one, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he looks so good. Yeah, yeah we saw I saw him the other day, but um, the server's been wiped since then because we uh, updated it. So that's all good. I, I didn't that's plan on saying that. That's what him. happened. Okay, so you did wipe the server. Yeah. We did okay. that affect you in some way? Yeah. No. Like all my dinos have been on like berserk mode because a whole bunch of like random super aggro critters started spawning everywhere. Oh and so, like, no. No, it was completely fine. Like it, everything that tried to attack us got killed, but oh, good. Yeah, good. And, and like, yeah, that's all fine. But it was just I wasn't sure what was going. On. I was like, why are they all like <laughs> aggro creatures? Like all back here, we cleared them out and everything. I was I'm like, glad something has died. happened. Yeah, no, that's, that's that's actually all good. But if you did you when did you wipe it? Uh, would have been possibly about twenty hours ago. So like four oh, hours from so now, that yesterday. Giga is gone. Oh, the one in the winter? Yeah, that, that thing is probably oh. gone then. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, Lachlan, because Lachlan ups the difficulty and he asked me to wipe it. And I kind of just did it without thinking about that. Ooh. So wait, what is what is the new level cap? Do you know? Do you know what the new so, level cap is? I don't know what the cap is, but... See, let me check. So... The settings for some reason let you vary from like zero to one, yeah. and it's currently at point eight. So it'd be about the highest I've seen is about level seventy-eight. That's the highest I've seen. We found an eighty-eight, I think, a piranha that was eighty-eight. Oh, dude, that's huge. Yeah. So like, okay, okay, so, cool. We're actually so, inching. I'm wondering because like I'm wondering if we're going to be able to find any wild hundreds yet. That we would be definitely close to it. Yeah, we're because like what the I think the level cap is one twenty still for island. Um, yeah, 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 it is, it is. Yeah, so, so one, yeah, difficulty of one, yeah, will give you one twenties. So if point eight times one twenty, that's gonna be ninety six. So if it's if it's just like a one to one, well not obviously one to one, but if it's if it's just like a linear thing, then we should be seeing awesome. ninety six of the max level cap. So I really want some level hundreds. I miss it. I miss the level yeah. hundreds. Dude, it's going to be insane. Apparently, people are telling me that the level cap is a hundred and five. Hundred. So, so I'm looking at the the, the uh, Wikipedia. It says if the setting is 0 0.857, that'll give you 105. Okay, so we're, and, we're a little bit short. A little bit short of that. So it might be like somewhere between 95 and 100 as max level. Okay. All right. That sounds that sounds about right. That would be what I would expect. Okay. Cool. So we're not quite the hundreds yet, but we're getting well, there. Well, we we possibly might be, but we're, we're close. We're close. Oh wait, are we resetting again? Oh no! No no no! Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> not. I mean, I don't know. Only only thing I'm worried about is we might. Did, did you alert PD as to the spooky level having increased? Because he's still he's still kind of. You know. Yeah, I, I didn't. I I didn't actually. Uh, <laughs> I, I I didn't. I f I flew past his base just earlier. Actually, I had a chat with him, and he, he was kind of like, you know, all these wild like carno dinosaurs are spawning around my base. 
I was like, yeah. do, 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 do. no, actually, <laughs> no. Okay, get this, right? He settled in the northern area. Yeah, but for some bizarre reason, like, I like I think you can agree with me when I say like the north is not exactly considered to be like a safe area. It's considered. Oh hell no, kind man. Of, yeah, the north is. He had a yeah. safe. He completely was safe. Like he never had a single aggro thing really occur to him for a long, long time. Oh, that's good. And my plant He's, species uh, X killed a Bronto. Nice. What? It looks like he's currently moved into the grotto. That little, uh... yeah, Pearl Lake or whatever. Yeah, 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 that one there. Yeah, I was, I was wondering. Someone, I was like, someone's got to be moving in there soon. Like, someone's mm. got to be. That's such a good spot. Yeah, it's it, it's so pretty looking. There's so many pretty areas in Ark. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah, that's it. I uh, I really want to play the center map. Yeah, I, uh, I think that'll be I lit. Haven't, I haven't played it yet, <coughs> but it looks pretty good. Yeah, well. Who knows? Who knows? Perhaps another season. Another season, and then we'll maybe do mm -hmm. that. Definitely. I was like, no, I never want to play Dinos <laughs> again. You guys are terrible. <laughs> Lockwood nah, kills all my it. dinos. All right, Mila. I know. I know. Mila, blood pact. All right, right now, we're making a pact. Mm -hmm. You and I teaming if we do another season. I reckon we should do that. Dream team it. And just, mm -hmm. just go through mm -hmm. and rampage. I was actually I was actually thinking about maybe stalking a couple of the other uh, people on the server and maybe hunting you guys for some sport. Oh yeah, dude, that could be pretty good. Hey hey hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start with me. <laughs> I thought we were a team. I thought no, I was no, gonna no, be no. a part of this blood spot. Yeah, no, no, no. But I think I think it'd be kind of funny, don't you think? Just like hunt, like follow them with like trank darts and stuff, and just kind of oh, float dude. around. That would make lit. some gold videos. That would be amazing. But yeah, I think it should be pretty good. Anywho, Skittles. So what are you up to? You're you're just kind of wandering about the lands, looking for random bits and pieces here and there. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, pretty much just alpha hunting, looking for alphas and looking for quetzals. Yeah, I, I'm having issues finding. Um, I'm having issues finding alphas like in a really good, reliable way. Is there a good way that you know of? Because I know that you know. I uh, I found one spot the other day. We found three Alpha Raptors and a Kane, all in one spot, and that was awesome. And I went back there today, and there was nothing. Okay, yeah. There's yeah. the the one place I know of that seems to be you know an okay area to go do that kind of stuff is yeah. to go up to right where the west coast meets the snow biome, and there's like a oh, little yeah. stretch of land there where they just they spawn in a pack, and in that pack it is possible an Alpha will spawn in there. The ones I've normally seen are Alpha Raptors. I don't know if they mm -hmm. spawn anything yeah. bigger than that, really. Yeah, my last season, that was like my little Alpha hunting spot. I had a base nearby, so pretty much every time I'd like, every day I'd kind of fly down there and there'd be two new Alpha Raptors. It was crazy. Yeah, I know Lachlan killed cool. an Alpha T-Rex there the other day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, I heard about that. Yeah. I, was, I was pretty impressed. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was pretty <laughs> impressed. I still haven't killed one. I've never killed an Alpha T-Rex. That's like really? top of my yeah, that's like top of my goal list. Huh? That's that's really the two things I got like left to do: kill an Alpha T-Rex and do something with a Giga. Tame it or kill it. I haven't done either. I, that's kind of surprising. Yeah, Why I just never find them. them. I it took me like two seasons to actually get good at the game. Like my two yeah. first seasons are just fail after fail after fail. Dude, I'm I'm right there with you. Like I'm not even joking. It was <laughs> it was pretty bad. I, I'm still pretty bad to be honest. We we make some poor life decisions here. Ah, oh, did you make mackerel. one little like wrong decision and you lose everything? It's yeah. It's a savage game. Ark has like zero chill. Like let's be honest. Oh, it's it's oh, like it's absolutely scary. none. Definitely. But it is. I don't know. I'm actually. I might be going into. Uh, well, I won't. I won't say it. I don't want to spoil it for my viewers. Oh, you got a star above your head. What's that mean? Oh, a star? Yeah, you got like a little golden star above your head, and your eyes are bright red. I don't know. Why would that be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe oh. maybe it means your rank in your tribe. I was gonna say maybe uh, admin. Because I, oh. I kind of play around behind the scenes a little bit. That yeah. could be what's up. 
I really have no idea. I didn't even know I had a star on my hey, head. That's hey, awesome. Hey, hey, you jealous? You wanna, you wanna, yeah, you wanna give me some uh, ascendant gear? No one has to know. No, no one Someone. has to know. <laughs> no one, no one will ever be suspicious about it at all. I promise. What do you have to? What do you have just, to? just, just, I just want a full set of ascendant gear. Uh, about nine thousand rifle ammo and uh, one million train darts will be good. Oh, oh. Is this, is this? Am I, am I being held hostage right now? No. Now you're being held hostage. <laughs> no, is that what's up? <laughs> no, 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 no. But. That that's okay. So that probably that would make a whole lot of sense. These mm. artifacts are cool. They are, aren't they? Yeah, they are. How many do you have? I only have three. Okay. I only have three. Uh, unfortunately, the fourth one was the result of a lot of QQ and sadness and. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, I I made poor life decisions. The server <laughs> every now and then like it hitches and it it just strategically hitches at the worst conceivable oh, times. Oh, it does, right? It does. Yeah. I was like, I literally jumped off of a ledge and I tried to parachute and the server was like, nah, man, I'm not feeling it. So I literally went like straight to the ground. I popped the parachute right as my legs snapped. And I was like, oh, oh dude, that's, that's that, great. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was fine and dandy. But okay, so we're probably sitting around like 90, 90 something. Yeah, definitely. In terms of should the be, dino should be. level. Yeah, that's actually still pretty darn good. All things considered. I went, I went into one of the uh, caves yesterday, mm -hmm. and I thought, yeah, I got this, and then I forgot that the level cap had increased, so I was fighting off that level oh, 80s, I just was not yeah. ready for it, it was bad, it was really bad. That's actually really true, huh? The caves are way harder now. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't really, even really think really... about that. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's, it's very different, that's for sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that that completely Dang, I should have done all the cave fudge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that well, was I guess, my thought. Well, I that guess it doesn't really thought. matter though cuz we're we're all doing the boss together, right? Yeah, I think so. It yeah. sounds like that that'd be a pretty cool little uh community event. I reckon. <laughs> I'll see I'll see Rob for the first time on the server actually playing the <laughs> yeah. game, which will be interesting. I don't think I've ever seen him either. Well, I mean, I don't even know what level he is. I don't think he's that high of a level. I don't think they play as much as... Well, I know John plus. John has been playing a little bit more. Um, okay. And he's and he's been kind of out and about, and I have actually recorded a little bit with him, so I do know that he's kind of... He's not. He's definitely not quite as far as you boys and the Banta boys are, but he's, he's mm -hmm. getting further along. Um, as far as I know, Rob is like... Rob, Rob might fall behind Petey to give a couple days. Actually, yeah, so. he sounds like he's pushing along pretty well. Whoa, what is this? What is what? Go to the river where the alpha was. There's a giant green line here. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the, uh, the new, like, biome borders. So, like, as of this week, as of whenever this update comes out, like, tomorrow or something, um, they're, like, expanding the biome. So the winter biome, like, doubles over into, like, the next mountain. Yeah. And there's a big redwood one. And that's just, like, the get out of this line because your buildings are going to get destroyed. Interesting. So if you build anywhere on this line, it just goes boom? Pretty much. Well, there's a, there's a possibility of it. And I guess they just wanted to give a bit of a uh, warning. Like, I remember when, uh, when I was playing on my old server... And the swamp update was coming in, and it was like within our zone. They were kind of like, you know, this area might get destroyed. Um, so we all like crapped it, and we moved all our stuff into like a safe place, and it didn't end up getting wiped out. But yeah. So it sounds like all of this might get like a remodel. Oh man. I am Which is really curious now. I'm wondering, because this is the center of the map. Yeah, yeah. This is like, is this going to turn into redwood? Map. Yeah, this is the red. This is going to be the redwood biome. This is like my favorite area. I love this place. Yeah, the center of the map. That's kind of a weird place to do a biome update because this mm -hmm. has kind of always been the center of the map. <laughs> yeah. It's it's really clear right now, and now and then it's going to be replaced with these giant <laughs> freaking trees. It is. It's that one big clearing where you can kind of just. See everything. You know, if you want an alpha, you you'll find an alpha pretty easily. But is that an actual thing that they're gonna add more alpha density here? Oh, oh I don't know. 
Oh. But like this place is kind of like the... the you can spot mecha. what you're looking for without having to search through trees. Yeah, um, you know what? Actually, all this talk about Alpha, I don't see the Alpha. Oh, I I, I dragged him across the river. So he side. should... He should, yeah, he's just over here. I was trying to wedge him against this cliff. It backfired big time. <laughs> it didn't work out at all. <laughs> doesn't it always? Doesn't, doesn't it always backfire? Let's be Pretty honest. Pretty much, here. man. I was on, I was on dead, like dead island, whatever yeah. people call it earlier, and there was an alpha raptor there. I was taking on. Same thing happened. Fell off the cliff. Got like wedged right next to it, and somehow I meleeed it to death. I got down to like no health and then he just for some reason couldn't hit me anymore. Oh, it was messed up. It was definitely a stream highlight. <laughs> it was it was crazy. Well, you're going to get revenge? I kind of want to see you take out this alpha. I uh, had a bit of a traumatic experience. I don't know if I'm up for it yet. I'd like to. It looks like he's bloody. I'm over here. Wait, is he bloody? No, never mind. He's not bloody at all. I'm just I think crazy. it's just his little fur. Oh yeah, the difficulty has definitely been increased. The level of, or high level things are definitely abounding. That's a really good pterodon you got there. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, a little bit bad. jealous. Not, not gonna lie, jealous a lot actually. I like my pteranodons. They're probably my... Well, you may not want to be in a tribe with Lachlan. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Well, yeah, or just bantering around before people get really defensive about it. Yeah. <laughs> It's all a good fun, guys. Yeah. Except he does kill a lot of dinos, Kappa. <laughs> There's a reason why Lachlan is the only one that has made so many graves. I don't think I think he's the only person that really set up graves on the entire server. Yeah. Well, I, I started setting him up for the dinos he killed of mine, and then uh, yeah, he's been <laughs> continuing that one there. All right, I reckon we got him in a good spot. Yeah, I think that's where I fell really for. Good area. I really don't want to fall back down there, though. Get back in there. Where are you going? Where are you going, bro? I think he's still stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. Nice. He shouldn't get out of there. All what I want you? is like a good crossbow. That's the one thing I need. Yeah, same. I'm, I'm actually still... The reason why I was hunting alphas the other day and I'm still kind of looking for alphas in general is to find a good uh, crossbow. I've got looking, like... Yeah. Have you got yeah, any journeyman stuff? Oh, uh, no. The highest I've no? ever seen is uh, Apprentice. Oh, wait, wow. no. No, is that true? Um. No, I think that I think that is. I think I, either I found one thing of journeyman and it wasn't remarkable enough for me to really care. Yeah. Or it was the highest I've ever found as apprentice. I um I think I had a journeyman or apprentice crossbow, and then I lost it at the bottom of the ocean, so that was a bit disappointing. Yeah, I had an apprentice crossbow that was lost to snapping my legs in a cave. <laughs> that sucks. Arc, arc being arc. <laughs> that is arc in a nutshell. The wow, sex. you found like the most amazing spot. This guy can't even like do his full like run around. He's stuck down there, man. Uh, this is he's awesome. stuck. It'd be a mighty darn shame if someone broke that rock right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, he'll, he'll give oh, me. Dallo, Dallo approaching you. Dallo approaching you. Oh snap. Dude, thank you. Oh, thank and you. Alpha's, Alpha's coming. Alpha's... Okay, no, he's still down there. He's still down there. Is he still good. down there? Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, that teamwork. Save my life, Joker. I owe you my life. Oh, I didn't want him to oh, we punch you down. Yeah, he, he did get out. out. There's a dialer down there as oh, well. Oh, now so. he's hard to hit because he, he won't stop. Oh, where you going, bro? Come, come back, back, come back. back. Yeah. Come in. Getting that little... I need him in that little cranny, that little nook. Oh, that little nook. Where'd he go? There he is. He's, yeah, he's still there. You're really close to that edge. I'm not going to lie. I'm really, <laughs> really concerned. I've got to keep an eye on you just to make sure you don't fall. This is why I die. Oh, where is oh he? Oh, you're so close to that. <laughs> <laughs> I like to live life on the edge. Oh, that's right. I got a journeyman's pickaxe. Yes, I did get oh. a journeyman's pickaxe. Yes, that's, that's cool. True. Oh, God. I felt it slipping for a sec. Where is he? There he is. Oh, I had him you in the head. You are to... really, really putting your life on the edge here. I am not going to lie. You are very manly. You I have chest this. hairs on your chest hairs. <laughs> Holy forge, mate. A few more shots. Here we go. Stuff it. Let's go. Hand to hand. Let's do it. 
You go hand to hand? Really? Um, I'm trying to suddenly regret that. Nah, I got this. I got this. I got this. Yeah, yeah got sucked in. Oh, I got a, <laughs> I got a helmet skin too. Nice. All he had was a ramshackle pick. Yeah, hey, that's better than nothing. Do you, than do you need it? No, you no, 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 no. I'm good. Oh, get out of here, Dilo. Um, um, where yeah. is your pterodon? He's chilling back here somewhere. I think. Yeah, there he is. Oh, it's had me all right. Yeah, it was okay. I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you are a brave soul. You've been going to melees with alphas. Holy cow. Sometimes. I, I need to give you some beer. <laughs> it was your beer that did it. No, no, no. The, the beer helps you in melee. Oh, does it? Yeah, I think it's supposed to make you, like, a little bit more resilient. It's just that you get a debuff after it runs out of its buff. Yeah. It just... So. Yeah. That's it. Kind of blinds you for a bit, doesn't it? I don't really remember what it... I think it, like, makes your stamina regen go down or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. You can barely, like, move by the end of it. Mm -hmm. or barely run. Yeah. So... I learned that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> I drank the beer you gave me. Yeah. So what's going on? I can't see. I can't oh, move. Oh, absolutely, by the way. If you ever want beer, just go to the bottom of my base and feel free to take out as much beer as you want. Like, I'm being dead serious. You got a bit of a brewery serious. going down there. Huh? You got a bit of a, a brewery going down there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's like the finest microbrews you've ever heard of. Ooh. Like, we have seasonal offerings. We have, you know, specialties. Every now and then oh, we've been known to mess around with some cocktails and stuff like that. <laughs> But it's it's been yeah. There's plenty of beer there, and I just don't use enough beer. So I'm like, yeah, sure, people can use it. Is it like useful? Is it or is it more just like a gimmick? Um, I mean, I, granted, I don't really go into melee very often because I don't trust myself in melee, with the exception of caves, mm. which I should probably bring beer for that. But I think mm. it would be worth it if you if you do melee. I would say it's probably worthwhile because I uh, actually here. Let me let me just look it up real quick. Hold on. I swear I'm professional, fam. I do this while recording <laughs> episodes. I swear. We are totally professional here. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see what beer is going to be doing for us. It'd be strength. Increase strength. Drop a stamina. Uh, do, 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 do. It gives you increased insulation and damage resistance and reduced water consumption but will rapidly deplete your stamina after two minutes your character will be in a hangover state for one minute keep your stamina at zero and preventing the effects of any stews beer can only hmm. be consumed once every five minutes so yeah i think i think if you are if you are in the home stretch of a fight it is a valid it, strategy to pop a like pop a beer <laughs> crack open a beer and then just go for it pop is, a beer. <laughs> yeah I swear I know how to talk about alcohol halls. I know everything <laughs> about the alcohol halls. You pop them and you snort it, right? I, That's it. I, I, Definitely. I <laughs> Have I been doing it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't think he knows what he's talking about or he's really drunk already. And he's been doing it very, very incorrectly. <laughs> oh, my. Man, I'm not going to lie, though. That's actually... I'm kind of nervous about that biome update. And the next update, I believe, is going to be the introduction of Explorer Notes. Which I am really keen on. That is that this one or next one? I heard. I, I thought it was supposed to be this upcoming one. I thought it was supposed to be the upcoming one. And then they're also in the pipeline. They have the aquatics, which is whenever I'm going to get into aquatics, which I'm pretty pretty hyped for. So what what are these? Because uh, I was reading. What are these uh, note things? What are they? I'm I think for they're now. supposed to be kind of like lore sort of stuff. I'm not. I'm not okay. honestly. I'm not. I'm not like a hundred percent sure. I didn't want to ruin too much of it just yet. Yeah, ruins and explorer notes. Interesting. Yeah, the ruins are. I think the ruins are gonna be lit because I think that it's gonna be. It's just gonna be something really interesting. Because the thing about Ark was I never really quite understood. It. Like, I, I part of me wants to understand why Ark is Ark. Like, <laughs> it's it it's so weird. It's like that weird combination of tribal and futuristic stuff yeah but like is this supposed to be like a hunger game situation like are we are we just like in a massive survival game kind of thing or it's a good question yeah i don't know because like, find out I'm... next time <laughs> yeah on the yard tune in next time another exciting episode <laughs> of lachlan kills everything <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh uh... man so what is what is your have you guys moved house have you gone north 
No, we're still still down south. Still in the same place. We never... I don't know if we are moving or not. It'd be uh -huh. a, quite a big task to move. Yeah, I'm thinking about moving house and just leaving the outpost as it is for me. It's a pretty sick outpost. Where would you move? Like down... I don't south know. Bit, or... I feel like I feel like I would want to move actually north, like a oh, little yeah. more center north. The north but... is it's a sweet spot. Oh, yeah, and you got to be careful with that now though, because that's they're turning all of that into winter. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna wait for the biome update before I really commit Definitely. to anything. That way I can see like where everything is, and I can be like, oh, I'm freezing to death all the time. That's great. The best. Not live there. Like I was. Yeah, we're flying past it before, and it looks like that whole, like next to the winter biome, sort of north central. That's all snow that's all going to be snow yeah and i think it reaches all the way through the top middle mountain like to the east of it a little bit this is where yeah. it stops uh, so like where safe. where pete is with the grotto seems to be a safe spot yeah i don't know i'm, I'm kind of hmm. curious to mess around with building an arc now that i understand arc building man that is mm. You can do some cool stuff with it, but you often are going to use twice as much resources as you need because you yeah. got to tear it down about three times and yeah, <laughs> and it, yeah. You know it's, it's bad when both of us are both like yeah. <laughs> it could go well, but it's way more <laughs> likely to just completely go poorly. Mm -hmm. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, I, that's exactly I, right. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to know I'm not the only one. Oh man. It's it was... so finicky, you know, if your foundation sticks in that tiny little bit into the ground. No, nope, sorry. Restart to build a meter in another direction. Yeah, and it's just like, and then ah. for me, it's the walls. Ah. The walls and stacking like foundations and stuff. It's just, it's brutal. Yeah. Oh, you got a rhino. Yeah, I'm collecting every single land dino. With the Stymetrodon here, it's going to be all the ones minus the spiders and the bats. But I should have one of at least every kind of land dino there is in Ark. Nice. Yeah, it's been it's been a long journey. <laughs> it's been <laughs> I bet one heck of a long journey. Uh, let me see. Here. You got so many tames, man. I love it. Yeah, awesome. well, the thing is, like, I don't use eighty percent of them. You never do, really, though. Half yeah. of them are just like they're really pointless. A lot of them. Yeah, like the they only thing have. is really That's good is like it. dung beetles. Dung beetles are pretty hype. Yeah. Flying mounts are obviously hype. And then, like, I think spinos will be a little bit more hype once I get into aquatics, because it'll be, like, a nice mix. Hell yeah, man. for berries, and then, I guess, rexes and gigas, because, you know, they're rexes and gigas. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, dung beetles are cool until I got my greenhouse up, and then it's like, I just never have to update the fertilizer anymore. It's just lasts forever. I, I don't know, man. It, it eats that? through my fertilizer pretty well. Hmm. Maybe maybe I screwed it up. <laughs> maybe my greenhouse right. isn't big enough. <laughs> it looks oh, all right. crap. What's your like what's your uh greenhouse effect on the uh on the actual crop plots? Um greenhouse effect. Is is there Should a way I you like, can see it? Yeah, yeah, just look at the crop plot. It'll tell you like a yeah. percentage. I was, I was wondering if you were nearby that you could just like kind of take a peek. Um I'm hit. I'm here. I just can't uh I was wondering if that was something that was like shareable information in the game or not. Oh. Uh, all right. Let's see. Give me one second. I'm gonna go grab myself. So good. Some of this stuff. And then... Yeah, gaming freak. I really do want a tamer kangaroo. I just can never find them. I think it's... top. Yeah, like kind of between the mountain peaks and the north is a pretty good place to find kangaroos. Yeah. Man, you guys probably get bombarded with those requests for kangaroos, eh? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, it's like the most highest, highly requested thing, I reckon. I just, I've, I've literally only ever found one, and that was last season. And that's the only one I've ever found. Rest in pepperonis. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, my greenhouse effect is 300, is what it's saying. Yeah. So that should be that's that's as good as it gets, really. Well, I don't know, cause like I still I still have to update my fertilizer like really well, not really frequently, but like relatively frequently. Uh huh. So I'm just wondering why that's the case for me. Oh, one of your spino eggs. Oh no, it's still there. You got oh dude, you got two spino eggs under this spino. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Those things freaking pour out of the sky. Well, I probably should collect them. Eh, Yoko. Cool. What are, what are spino eggs good for again? I have no idea. I 
forget what spine are good for. They're big. It's gonna be so something good. Yeah. Oh, it was uh, a double A. Oh, wow. Like, it was one. Yeah, Man, like two side are... by side. Yeah, you're pooping them out. I'm um... showing you. Oh, that's it. Just Megalodon. Shark dogs. Ooh. That's disappointing. Loki <laughs> <laughs> Savage as all get out. <laughs> you are just kind of a disappointment. Just gotta be honest here. Oh my. Alright, let's see here. By the way, do you know anything about Dimetrodons? Uh, no. No, I don't. I've never never tamed one. I know they uh, they keep you warm, I think. I'm just wondering if they're gonna die if I shoot them with a crossbow. I think. Um. Yeah, I don't think them. you should. Whereabouts are you? Um, I'm in the pen. Oh, the oh, you dropped him in there. Yeah. Just to make life a little bit easier. Stop biting my wall. I know that their torpor drops like ridiculously fast, I think. Yeah. I or it did. It might have been updated. Ooh. She's pretty bloody. I don't know, guys. I might kill her this way. I don't know. You might. Whoa. Hey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> All right. Now that we got her. Oh, wait. Oh, is he knocked out? Yeah, oh, he's knocked, he's knocked out. out. Oh, nice. Yeah, that unconsciousness, dude. The torpor drops like 20 at a time. Holy crap. It's like yeah, halfway it's down. It's dropping quite rapidly. Do you have narcotics on you? Oh, yeah. I have right, like good. 300 narcotics. Oh, beautiful. All right, I was going to yeah. say, I got some if you need them. It's... <laughs> I, I have learned my lesson. I, I The Phoenix, where I tamed him... Oh my gosh, I was flipping out, because that, that was rough. <laughs> For some reason, my brain was like, you don't need to break that many narcotics. I brought like 20. That was... Oh yeah? That was a near lethal mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what, were you, what were you taming? A Quetzal. I was, I was taming a Quetzal, oh, yeah. and I was just like, oh, I need to bring like 20. And I was like, no, you need to bring more like 100. But <laughs> yeah, sure, 20 is like 100. And no, Dude, God. when I killed mine, I had to remote feed him, because I ran out of narcotics. I had to remote feed him and then shoot him with trank arrows just <laughs> to like increase his torpor. It was touch and go for a bit. Yeah, that's freaking... Uh, again, that's arc for you. <laughs> that's, that is typical <laughs> arc behavior. Just never gonna have a calm day in arc. Never. Actually, guys, you may not know this, but Mila actually was the one that made the original philosophy of, you know, you always you set your plans, but nothing ever seems to go according <laughs> to that plan. And everything just goes straight to the crapper. So it was just... It's mm -hmm. true. It's, it's very, very true. Dude, At first, that's... I was kind of like... Not really, and then I was like, "Yep, no, that's absolutely true." For anything that's actually me, more difficult, definitely, man. Oh, uh, like lately, especially, I just cannot. Whenever I go on an adventure to achieve something, I rarely actually achieve it. It's it's getting pretty bad. It's getting pretty bad. It's Caves good. in particular, I I I've only gone through one cave and gotten through it. One cave, really? Yeah. There is a cave nearby here that's pretty uh, easy to do, as well as the maze cave. The maze cave is not too bad. The maze cave? Yeah, the maze cave. I don't know which one that is. I think that's the one in the snow. Okay. It's like I think I think uh, Lachlan and Vic did it. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw a bit of that video of yeah. that one there. I think mm. I think that's considered. To, it's it's easy in terms of not that many things will like. It's not like really mob dense or anything. It's a labyrinth, okay. so it's a little bit more fun to kind of explore it and figure it out on your own, I think. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, but then if you if you are if you're into that kind of thing, that's great. If you're not, then just look up a guide, I guess, and then just kind of figure your way through. But it's I actually might check it out. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. But yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> if you are looking for beacons, though, uh, northeast where Pete's I guess old base now was is that that's a lit place for beacons. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's that's blues really and good. Above. It's blues and above, and it's great. There's, uh, I've, I've, there haven't been many red beacons, I've found. Oh, yeah, or I know. There's no way there's going to be that many. It's I don't rare. spend much time up this way, though, so maybe I just miss a lot of them. If I would, I had the best luck finding 
good high level beacons in the northeast, like really close to Carno Island. Carno mm. Island mm. only spawns blues and above, but I got a good number of yellows and reds um, between there, Pearl Lake, and then a little bit in between. Okay. So if you are in, if you are on the hunt for that, that would be a good place to start, I think. Definitely. Yeah, well, always keen on some of that. The Metrodons are. <laughs> How, how fast else. their food increase? Not much. It up it up by like maybe ten percent. Not even. Wow. Like probably like five percent. Wow. So we'll probably burn through all hundred narcotics, if not more. That's uh that's unfortunate. Yeah, I did not realize that Dimetrodons <laughs> were this finicky. <laughs> and I really, really regret not having prime meat for this. Do you want me to go find you some? Oh, I I had heaps. From uh, the alpha. That alpha raptor as well. Yeah. All right, I'll go. I'll go find some. Are you sure? There's sure to be a Bronte around here somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there will be. Actually, I'll go up uh, towards the winter. The land of always winter. Right. Go kill some penguins. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's not. The, they're the best. Penguins are so useful. Uh, dude, it's. I don't understand why they made all the most valuable things that you need late game on a little baby penguin. I just don't mm -hmm. understand the logic. Why would you make me feel like a monster game? <laughs> no, that's what it is, I think. It's like that bat, that, that uh, trade-off. Well, because you, you know that the best way to get Palmer is to actually club them. Yep. Yeah, so I literally just sit there clubbing these baby penguins and people judge me. <laughs> people judge me. Sad. I mean, Lachlan was thinking of like setting up a penguin farm and just breeding them. And can you breed? Actually, can you breed them? Yeah, you can. You can, yeah. Breeding them and then just like killing off the, the babies for polymer. It's like, that's brutal. Wow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a whole another level of wow. <laughs> <laughs> But I like it. I like it. When, when you low key just find out Lachlan is the most savage person on the server, <laughs> just. Man, even I don't think that. That's, <laughs> wow. Jeez Louise. You better watch your back, Viola. You never know. <laughs> he might decide to start farming you. Be like, huh, well, he comes He's back a lot of good stuff. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah you... <laughs> oh, boy. God. That's All right. actually savage. Got some stegos here. There's no alphas. No alphas in your little uh, sweet spot. Yeah, I even refreshed it earlier today just to see if I can coax one to get in there, but no luck. I, Do you I take just, your Giga out much? Oh, no, you need like level 85 for the start of it, don't you? I, I just have them follow me around. If I if I do meat runs, I take them out usually. Oh, nice. You know, I take out take, my pack of Rexes. Take them out for a walk? Yeah, just kind of grab a saddle and then feel like I'm king of the world and then get stuck behind <laughs> two rocks and then everything just goes to crap. Mm-hmm. It's actually like rocks are the bane of all existence. Oh, oh crap! Oh, when my torpor is dropping really fast. <laughs> I've gone through Stego. 60 narcotics. And you're not even halfway, are you? I'm not even a quarter. I'm at 20%, Jeez. I think. Oh my god, two stegos and I got two prime meat. I instantly regret all my decisions about taming a higher level Dimetrodon. I regret so many decisions right now. <laughs> it's not even that high either. Yeah, it's a level 29. Like, the heck? Are you kidding? Well, that was this Rex. You know what? Forget you. You're gonna, you're gonna have like 20 narcotics. You're gonna love it. Actually, what is this? You are a... Uh, the ramshackle. Oh. Down. I aggroed a Dimorphodon. Awesome. Little suckers. You what? You what, mate? You what? You what? You what? Yeah. Yeah, nah. No, I mean, we're not a big star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the stinking uh, Dimorphodons, if you aggro them, they're really hard to hit sometimes. Just yeah. sometimes. Dimorphodon, I don't know. Dimorphodons are annoying. They're supposed to be pretty good in a pack. Like. Yeah, you get a that bunch of them. Pompies. Did you did you see the patch notes? <laughs> what was it? They nerfed compies. 
<laughs> really? Yeah, they're just like, this is slightly ridiculous. Apparently people were like running around these giant squads of combis, and it was just like wow. destroying everything and anything in their path. That's so good. And I was just like... That's so good. Because you know it was just one guy that was like, you know. They seem pretty OP in packs. Let me get 9,000 of them. Yeah. <laughs> just like... <laughs> <laughs> too far, too That's far, it. too far. Oh, jeez, I thought a Pterodon just landed right next to me. I was like, wow. That's a Pterodon influenced my base the other day, and it's just flying there, stuck against the wall. It was yeah. only a level two. That was a bit disappointing. Okay, here's some prime meat. There's only four pieces, I'm afraid. Ah, thank you. But hopefully it's a good start. Okay, so let's see here. There's four in there, he said. And we're about 20%. Actually, we're probably 25% right about now. What kind of kibble does he eat? Dimetrodons, I think, need like a good. They need, they need like a really, really good kibble. I forget what it is. They're not like great dinosaurs. It's surprising. Unless they got like a feature that I just don't know about. <laughs> Dimetrodons, low key, are the strongest dinosaur in the game. You just tell me it's. Yeah, well, that's it. Quetzals. Quetzal kibble. Yep, nope, absolutely not. This are you is serious? not worth Quetzal kibble. I'm not feeding you the same thing I feed Gigas. Absolutely not. I'm like re I'm like trying to find something good about these guys and <laughs> not finding much. I think it's I think it's more of just like the Pokemon trainer thing. It's just one of those not so useful Pokemon, but yeah. you get it anyways because you're a collector <laughs> and you gotta catch them all. Not dangerous. Huh. Yeah, that, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't sound uh, maybe, cool maybe their insulation value is really high. I know Kairuku's are supposed to do that as well. Yeah, I think it is. I think. They oh are. yeah, prime meat. Boom, twenty-five percent extra nice. right out of the gate. That actually, I think you brought just enough to tame it in full. Beautiful. So thank you very much. And before it's like, Daddy, Daddy Mio, I'll be like, <laughs> No, I want, I want you to be mine. It's all mine. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> My Everyone gosh. keeps telling me in my chat to kill you. And it's like, if I even touch you, I'll be dead in about three seconds. Well, I will say this. If you ever decide to kill me, <laughs> I'll be paying a visit to your base with Tiny, and we'll, we'll have a nice little chat about mm -hmm. life and different life decisions that you can make. Yeah, yeah, I figured. I figured. Not looking forward to that one. Then again, if I took your ride out, <laughs> <laughs> then I could just capture you forever. Then my next rat will be called Choco. Please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, and actually, there was a. Oh. God, no! Fudge! Oh no! Wait, what happened? Oh wait, it tamed. Did it tame? No, he's wild. He's wild. Fudge! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel partially responsible for that. Is he gonna attack no, me? I uh, no, I don't think he even aggro. Okay. Fudge! <laughs> I lost track. I keep forgetting that his torpor just flee. Okay. Ooh, okay. I need to get some trank. I need to get my. I need to get my gun. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Because it's just oh fudge. <laughs> oh god. I hate this thing so much. <laughs> Why is it so hard to tame? All right, you know what? Although the prime meat, I think that the discovery of prime meat increases by that much was actually a pretty lit discovery. So I think I I'm think... gonna definitely get on that. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Sorry, all headphone users. I just realized I made everyone deaf. Probably Milo is like <laughs> no longer able to hear anymore. I reckon I'm gonna head back to my base, man. I'm gonna do a little bit more um, alpha hunting and chat with stream and stuff. I might uh jump out of the coal, but thanks a lot for the uh, the chat, dude. I had fun. It's good. It's good, dude. We gotta tee up some streams together, I reckon. Yeah, dude, you know what we should do? And I would actually What's highly that? rate this. What's that? I'm not trying to judge anyone, per se. Certainly not specifically Lachlan. <laughs> but if I were to guess about which group of people would be most likely to retrieve the higher level cave artifacts, I would say it's probably more likely to be me and you. We could do that. Which one's the high level one? There's the snow cave one, which is like, uh, Pete actually got killed by like a level 270 or something like that. Wait, what? 
Yeah, the snow, the snow cave doesn't care about the level cap. It just you... spawns stupidly high level things in there and it will wreck your day. What? Yeah, that's that's the word in the street. I mean, you know, I'm just the messenger. I just I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. That's crazy. That's messed up. I yeah. didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, so apparently PD got killed by something that was like 200 and I was like, that's preposterous. The highest level dino in all the game right now is like 55 or something. And then they're like, no, nah, it wow. was 200 something. I was like, well, that's really terrifying. So Yeah, we might need to hit that as a as a group. That yeah. sounds bad. It, it does like not, a real bad time. Yeah, it, it's, it's not exactly a highly recommended activity. Let's put it that way. It, it's, it's definitely not a one-man show thing, I don't no. think. It doesn't sound like it. I, um... Oh, damn it. I just, like, sprinted home on my Tyranodon, and I've lost my Quetzal. Oh, man. Wait, I... what? He was follow. Oh, there he is. You know how they're, like, a lot slower? Well, my Tyranodon's pretty f pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So, uh, he was lagging behind. And I was okay, kind of worried. Okay, okay. I, I thought you meant, like, it died, and I was like... Oh, no. <laughs> like, what? what? Please, no. <laughs> Too many <would> tragedies. <laughs> Too many tragedies. <laughs> I think that'd be the end of my time on the server. I think uh, <laughs> this is this is Lachlan and Vic's team. I think that would be a death sentence. <laughs> that would be absolutely brutal. No, no, no. Yeah, if you do see any uh, female quets, oh, you probably want a female quetzal. If you see any quetzals, full stop. Let me know. Let me oh know. no, if if I find any female quetzals, I'll I'll be sure to let you guys know because yeah, that they are. Well, actually, you guys, yeah. Well, here are this. Oh, actually, do you want me? Do you want me to also be on APB for gigas? I mean, why not? But if you want to go ahead and like do what you got to do with them, that's well, because cool if well. I find a female giga, I think I might try to tame it. But if you, because like you guys don't have a giga yet, right? No, we don't. No, we don't. Yeah. So I figure if I if I find a giga that if I if I find a reasonable level giga, you probably want like a lower level one. Yeah. Yeah, or probably. Do you, play, or do you want to go for a high level one? Ah, uh, I'll be happy with it. I'd be happy with a level one, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for uh, different sorts of critters. So I'll see if I can find another Quetzal and such like that, and if I'll see if I can also find uh, a Giga for you guys. That'd be awesome, I'm dude. Gonna, I'm gonna be prowling around relatively soon, I would think. Maybe even later tonight. So nice, we'll see, nice. We'll see how that's going. Oh, and just just for the sake of simplicity and everything, for those of you watching on YouTube, you can find Miola's YouTube channel in the description. But Miola, do you want to tell everyone what your like information is so people can follow yeah. you and whatever else? Yeah, sure. Um, all right, you can follow me on YouTube at youtubecom slash Miola. My Twitch is twitchtv slash Miola. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. I know Come it's really over. surprising that Mr. Miela's stuff is called Mr. Miela, but yeah, we'll eventually get over it. <laughs> it took a while for me to come to acceptance with it, but, you know, in time, mm. ma'am, in time. In time. How about your information, man? Oh, I... Go ahead. <laughs> Guys, what's my information? Uh, Twitch.tv slash ChocoboChoco for streams, and I stream ARC every other day. And then YouTube.com slash ChocoTheChocobo. You're probably better off looking in the description for that. For the spellings, just, just <laughs> yeah, go to the description. It. It'll, it'll be a little bit easier. But yeah. But yeah. Any use good I will. I will not tie you up anymore. I'm sure you're done with my prattling. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty over it by now. Yeah. It's, I'm just annoying, man. I don't know. On why your way, mate. Up with me. On, on your way. I, I know I got admin. You want to be banning me soon? I'm on to you. <laughs> yeah. I'm on to you. I know. I know the true me. You're on all this. man. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll take care, dude. All right, you too, man. Have a good nice one. Good chat. luck, and hopefully you find all the stuff that you need. Thanks, man. You and too. I'm talking in a weird accent that's not Australian, but absolutely <laughs> god awful. It's close. It's not American Australian. <laughs> it's that Hugh Jackman type of in between. Oh god. <laughs> all right, we'll take it easy, dude. See you later, man. All right, so let's see here. So cool, 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 cool. First time we ever hung out with Mr. Miela. Seems like a very nice guy. And for some reason, whenever I talk with people that have accents, I try to emulate their accent. I don't really know why I do that, because I obviously do a very poor job of it. Oh, you, you're you okay. I don't have to waste Trank darts for you. Oh, whoa, he's attacking me this time! What 
changed. Why are you suddenly attacking me, bro? Please fall asleep. I don't remember how many shots it took to knock him out last time. And I missed, because, you know, super good at this game, Kappa. Okay, there it goes. Nope, just kidding. Please fall asleep. That has to be the one. Okay, good. I was about to be like, it can't, I can't really do much more than that. And I have zero narcotics on me. Oh, crap. Um, fudge. All right, well. That is not quite the way that we wanted to do this. All right, let's just go ahead. I mean, we have plenty of narcotics. So, fudge. I didn't think this through. I forgot to bring the narcotics. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? And Phoenix is all the way over there. Fudge! You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna accept responsibility for my actions, and we're just gonna knock him back out with uh, the trank darts, and we'll start from fresh. We'll start from fresh. Man, I fleeped up, fam. I fleeped up real bad. That's okay. We have plenty of prime meat on the Dimetrodon. I'm not good at multitasking. I will say that I am really really bad at multitasking. So whenever I'm hanging out with someone or whatever else, I'm just I'm not all there. I'm gonna be completely honest. It's probably already awake. Yep, there it is, already walking around. Ah, oh, you're great, you're hilarious. Sleep sake. Alright. Let's go ahead, grab the narcotics. That actually may not even be enough, but we'll see. We'll see. Alright, come here, little nerf herder. Like, it just gets up so quick. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. That's right, come back around. I'm really hoping it does not die to darts. That would be a really sad way for this guy. So, Dimetrodons, aside from being one of the most pointless seeming dinosaurs, now I've never obviously owned one before so I can't really attest to how good or bad it is, but they are not huge dinos that you can ride into combat, they're not super high utility dinos like a dung beetle kind of thing. They don't seem that good, okay? But they require Quetzal Kibble. They, well, they don't, you know, they, they, they prefer Quetzal Kibble. They're carnivores. And on top of all this, their tarpor drops at an alarmingly fast rate. I don't understand. I don't understand why they added something this god-awfully annoying into the game. It has to be the Pokemon thing. It has to be added to the game for just just to just to mess with you it's it's literally just in the game to make you feel bad about life I, that's the only conclusion I can draw because why why is it so difficult why do they make it so there is any dino that loses tarpor that fast and is that a big of a pain to tame I, I just don't understand I just don't understand and it's not even like a good aesthetic thing right like it doesn't look super cute it doesn't look it doesn't look grand, and you can't even like put it on your shoulder. It doesn't do any tricks. It doesn't give you love, and then fetch the newspaper for you in the morning. It doesn't do anything. I don't think. It's literally just the. Mm. Uh. I'm not gonna lie. Next episode, guys. I think I just need to let loose. I just need to let loose and just let myself. 
just unleash all the all the anger and the sadness and the loss and the despair. I just need to I just need to let it loose. So expect a lot of dead things next episode. I don't know what exactly we'll do. But chances are there's gonna be a lot of dead stuff. Lots and lots of dead stuff. I just, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe they've done this. And I have to go find another Dimetrodon now. That was the only female that we found. And honestly, I'm just going to look for a lower level one. If I have a choice, I'm going to choose a low level one. Because that is absurd how much energy and effort it takes to tame one of these idiots. Oh, and thank you very much for those Miela Raiders. Thank you, Miss Miela. I, I regret to inform you about the Dimetrodon that we were <laughs> that you, you so graciously went out of your way to go get raw prime meat for has died. <laughs> at this at this rate, I'm no better than Lachlan is. He's probably reconsidering that pact. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think horrible mistakes were made. Ah up 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 I think you're the only one. I think you're my only choice. I grab it? Nope, I let go of it somehow. Okay, there we go. I don't even see what it was. Whatever. Whatever you are, I'm going to now tame you. I do not care. I do not care. I'm just going to just tame you. I I just nah. Nah uh 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 uh. Hey! Again, welcome all you raiders. Lovely, lovely time. We're getting a new Dimetrodon because the first one met an untimely end to poor life decisions. But honestly, Dimetrodons themselves are poor life decisions, let's be honest. <laughs> let's, let's be honest, let's be clear. There is nothing that is dear. When it comes to Dimetrodons, they make you fear the time that you have to get them here. Kappa, 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 kappa. Alright, come on, baby. Come on. Let's just bring you home. Let's bring you home. Let's get you tamed. And then we'll only have the cave dinos. I don't think we have enough time for the cave dinos. Because I'm also going to have to create bug repellent, which I don't think I have all the components for right now. And I think they're, people are saying that they're both passive tames. I'm not entirely sure if bug repellent also works on bats. Because as far as I know, bats aren't bugs. But, you know... Who knows? Maybe my life is a lie. Maybe maybe bats are bugs. I have no idea. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And stream chat for all those quays that are in chat, drop some hearts. We're gonna we're gonna fight back the raid with love. Give all the hearts you can. Drop all the hearts. Pew pew away with them. And let me go ahead. Drop off this Dimetrodon. And great. That was excellent. Alright, so what are you? You are a male level 5. I rate that beyond highly. I don't even care. I could probably knock you out of train arrows, but guess what? I'm going to just take you about with darts. Because you know what? I'm guaranteed not to kill you if I start you from full. Stop biting my wall. I'm being super serious right now. Stop biting my wall. There we go. Alright, so we got that going. Let's go get the narcotics. Just kidding, we already got the narcotics. And then let's just let's just knock him out again real quick for now. Ooh, but the lower level ones have less torpor in general. An interesting an interesting balancing act we must now play with and contemplate. Alright. We do have this raw prime meat here. It is good for a little while. 10 raw prime ought to do it. Hopefully they don't spoil while I'm carrying it to our friend here. Because it does it does kind of like mess around with it a little bit. 2 minutes 20, that may not be enough time. That may not be enough time because I, I did have to go look around for the Dimetrodon for a little while. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, man. Okay. We just need to get this Dimetrodon to love us. How hard can that possibly be? I'll put on my finest dress and I will get this lovely Dimetrodon to fall in love with me. 
unless it's you know unless it doesn't doesn't like chocobos in which case I, I can't really do anything for it come on come on baby come on you need to eat their food drains at such a terribly slow level as well Oh my gosh, this is this is painful. This is suffering. This is actually suffering. He hasn't eaten a single bite of food. Does he have to lose 80 food in order to eat? I can't believe it. He may not even get Oh, he did eat. He ate a bite. Ooh, he got pretty high though. I rate that. I rate that actually fairly highly. I don't know if the other things of meat will last quite as long. Let's see. Tiny, come here. Come a little bit closer to the door. Maybe if I get you like really just up close and personal. With it. Maybe if you were like right here at the doorway. Okay, let's knock you out again. I'm not letting you wake up again. You are not allowed to wake up. Here, let's just knock it out again. And then, let's sort this alphabetically. The problem is, the second it goes into my inventory, it just starts shredding how much it it can actually last for. So I, I, that has to just be the fastest thing. Okay, a minute 29, I rate that. A minute 29, we should be able to get another solid raw prime feed. We just need one more. If we get one more raw prime feed, then we are in good shape. We are in pretty good shape because then it'll be about like, I'm assuming about 90% of the way there for the tame, and then it can finish it off with some regular meat because that should be enough. That should be just as we need because the, what, the level 20 something went up to about a quarter from Raw Prime and that was about 5% per meat feeding, so it should be about 10, um, like reasonably close to 10. A little bit short, but pretty darn close. But look at how slowly it falls, jeez. This one critter is just shredding through the like forget the Quetzal tames man. This guy is a pain in the booty. This is the hardest tame I've ever done in Ark. Cause they just are such a giant butthead. Like look, it doesn't even want to eat. Ugh. The sight of ugh. There we go. There's another chomp chomp. Another good solid chompity chomp chomp. There's no way that prime meat's lasting, unfortunately. So, alright, cool, 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 cool. Let's go ahead and we'll just knock him out really, really good. He just has to clear one more feeding, and I think that will do it. And it's a level 5. Rip the level 23. It wasn't that high of a level, honestly, and who really cares because it's Dimetron, but like, man, game is hard, fam. Game is real hard. Right, let's repair these walls that decided to bite. Because, you know, Dimetrodon, troll. I think we actually might have found the trolliest thing in all of Ark as well. Because this is, I, I would even say it's, it's it's even worse than, it's even worse than cats. And you guys know me and cats, we, we don't have a good working relationship. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I need to do? I need to make a stone wall area to go tame things in. That's what I really need to do. That, put a doorway in there, slap it on, it'll be great. It'll be grand. Alright, here we go. Come on, baby. Come on! You're so close! I know we could feed it stim berries, but it also shreds through Torpor. You know what? No, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait it out. We're going to wait it out. We're going to be good. We're not going to risk anything. We're going to get a Dimetrodon, darn it. This will be, minus caves, the last land dino that we need. Tame. Tame, you clown. Tame. Come on. Come on. What just happened to his Torpor? Hold on, hold on. Before I read this, can we all agree 
that we just watched, the Torpor, just do something absolutely, completely bullshrimp. Like, can we all just agree on that? Because that was... Nah, that one... That one right. That... No, 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 no. That is bullshrimp. That is actually bullshrimp. Okay, anyways, Dimetrodon. The common name, Dimetrodon. Species, Dimetrodon. Calorector? Calorector. And then time early, Permian, diet carnivore, and temperament reactive. So the Dimetrodon is a much calmer predator than most on the island. Because it lives off smaller prey than humans, it generally ignores anything much larger than a coloconth, which is the fishies. So Dimetrodon is one of the few carnivores on the island that could be classified as reasonably friendly in the wild. You better tell me something good that these things can do. The sail on Dimetrodon's back is a fascinating thing. It can be angled to provide shade from the sun and allows Dimetrodon to disperse heat more quickly. The inner workings of the sail can also restrict blood flow in the creature to hold in excessive heat. Together, these two traits allow Dimetrodon to comfortably survive in any climate, though they are most commonly found in the swamp lands, which are rich in prey. However, its main use, uh, domesticated, if Dimetrodon was a bit larger or didn't have that massive sail, it would make a decent mount. However, its main use to survivors is to utilize the sail's insulating capabilities. Just being near Dimetrodon gives excellent protection from the heat and cold, which has saved my life through more than one ice blizzard in the frozen Northlands. Oh, okay. Maybe it's really high of an effect? Is there... Okay, my hype. Okay, so my hypothermal is currently 204. Let me see what happens if I go away from. Oh wow! Okay, that's why they're valuable. I understand now. Okay, you are you are. What if like so? If I like cuddle right next to you. That's insane! Look at that! Look at how much it gives for insulation. Okay, so I think these are just really, really OP versions of the Kairuku. That's what uh, that's their function, is that they're supposed to be, like, a really, really OP version of Kairuku insulation. That's not just, like, a, oh, a little bit of insulation. That's, that's a lot of insulation, fam. Like, a lot. A lot of insulation. And apparently, the way I'm pronouncing the fish name is apparently Coelacanth. Which, I guess that would mean that its actual name would be SEAL? Like the short term? Because it's just called C-O-E-L. So I guess it'd be... It, I guess... Great! So not only have I been clubbing penguins, but I've also been killing SEALs. And baby SEALs at that. So great! That, that, yeah, this, this, this channel is totally not going to seem mad suspicious to newcomers. Great! Absolutely lovely. Absolutely grand and lovely. Anyways, that is going to be all for this episode, guys. I think Dimetrodons, we actually might... I, this was kind of a pain, but now that I understand how this all works, I can definitely see why you'd want some. Because these guys could end up being really, really awesome for one thing specifically that comes to mind, which is insulation for eggs. If I move this guy up to where the air conditioning room is, this is all I should need for any form of egg. It will provide the best amount of insulation, I think. Um, for what we need, so that could be lit. I still maintain that next episode is going to probably be rather bloody. So, if you're if you're a peace loving, peace loving person, an individual, then I would I would say maybe uh, maybe avoid the next episode. But if you like a little bit of mayhem in your life, then it may be a great episode for you guys to get into. I'm also going to go ahead and move the Dimetrodon really quick. Okay, are you fast moving? No, you're pretty slow. Here, about the same as Lysosaurus. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy up into the into the incubation room. I think that way we can make sure that way we can make sure that uh, we're putting Dimetrodon to best use. Because right now, this is by and far the most useful thing it can do for us. Where chances are, I'm never gonna tame just enough to really be all in grand shape for things like moving them to the north and just being warm in the north. Unless I make an outpost there, which I sort of doubt I'm going to do. And if I do make an outpost there, then I'll probably make it indoors. And then, you know, do a couple of other things here and there to make my life a little bit less painful. Or, pain, painful. Yes, Choco. I have to make life more painful. Good job, Choco. Your brain is totally working right now. Totally not broken. 
And that guy is not going to fit in there as is. We are going to have to do something else. Um, actually, I guess. Here, let's see. Let's see if we're getting any insulation value. So right now we're in the house. Oh, yeah. 308 hypothermal. And if I'm like right here, right beside this guy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. If I just... Because right now I'm all in house. And I'm right next to this guy. So if I put him right in the corner, look at that stat line. That is phenomenal. That is a ridiculous amount of temperature control. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Any schedules? Let me actually compare. So this dimension was pretty lit. Let's see. Let's see what the Kairuk can do. Also another egg. And I also have the Sarko eggs on me that I need to be aware of. And another Argentavis egg. Two? Man, the eggs are just flying these days. I don't know what happened. Maybe they also changed the egg effects or something. Alright, and then... Yeah, like, not even comparable. I think it I think it does raise it technically a bit. Let me see. Yeah, it, it raised my hypothermal insulation a little tiny bit, but nowhere close to the Metron. So it's a really OP version of the insulation that penguins give. Okay, I can see. I can understand why that would be considered to be pretty cool. I can understand that. Alright, so incubation room, and of course when I was talking to Mila, I did switch out which artifact is out here, so right now is this bad boy, the artifact of the clever, which is, I believe, I think the artifact of the clever is the one that's really close to us, that's the one that's really close to us, and then there is another one, the other, we have one last artifact that we haven't really showcased yet, which is the artifact of the Skylord, which is the one that I was talking with Mila about. Uh, a little bit earlier. So, anyways, good news. That is gonna be all for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, consider leaving a like down below. Subscribe. Uh, what? Oh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and you would like to know when other things are being posted. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and ciao for now. And please hope that I do not screw this up because what I'm planning on doing could be very, very bad for my soul. All right, so we will be back next time with awesome stuff and hopefully not me being dead. Yeah, bye.